welcome back friends in this video tutorial I'll be telling you how to minimize your negative marking in CSR UGC net now in most of the cases I see people who answer a lot of questions and they complain about uh, this stuff that though I answer a lot of question but uh, I get some good marks from that but uh, most of my marks are getting deducted due to negative marking and that's a general issue for most of uh, most of the aspirants for CSR net now what is the problem in that case? The problem is the grid, a uh, little bit that I need to answer all the questions, right? I need to answer the questions to get good marks, better marks. So people start to guess. Uh, when a people will not know about, not sure about an answer, they start to guess about an answer. Now, and may they may end up with failures uh, because uh, though people is guessing, but there is a formula of guessing, a theory of guessing. There are some ways to guess a question's answer correctly uh, and more efficiently than other stuff. So that's also important. Not knowing that very well, people guess it just randomly and end up with in failure. So, so my uh, advice to all of you is, though if you guess, guess using the formula, I have a video on how to guess questions properly. Otherwise, if you don't know that, don't try to guess a lot. Especially, don't try to get, guess a lot for group C questions because the group C questions are uh, marks 4 questions uh, the wrong answer will be deduction of minus 1 and the question marks 4 itself so it's minus 5 from the complete 200 marks question paper so that's why uh, first things first when exactly you should guess you should only guess if there is no other options left right if you if you answer the questions confidently whatever uh, you go through all the question paper you answers whatever question you can answer confidently and you're calculating the marks and thinking that you're not going to get qualified even if all the questions are correct that is the time to guess the questions otherwise don't guess the question right so how could you know that's why i always tell you once you know the questions confidently just know the answer put it in the OMR. now once you do this throughout this like throughout the groups you you've done that right and there are some questions you will find uh, difficulty answering and eliminating between two different options, right? You, most of the cases you'll see you can eliminate two options, but two options you should have tie. In those situations, uh, you might have to guess in future, but do not put the answer directly in the OMR for those questions. Whatever questions you are confident about, you fill up the OMR about that option, okay? And then, uh, say some of the questions you are uh, kind of confident but not completely sure whether the option A or B, they are very near. You are not sure whether A and B, which is correct. But you know, uh, with slight guessing, you may end up with correct answer. So these are the second type of questions that you have. First type of questions, totally confident about. You know, that is the direct answer. You put the answer in the OMR sheet, you are ready to go. But the second one, you are not completely sure about. So uh, it might be A or it might be B, you are not sure about it. So what you are going to do, in those questions, you have the question paper. In the question paper, you take your pen or pencil, whatever. You just put a mark on that question number. That this is the question and I have a tie between A and B. Similarly, so let's say you answered 10, uh, say 12 questions confidently in group C. Now you left with uh, 6 questions with that guessing point. Uh, you are not completely confident, but you know if you guess among those 6 questions, you might end up with answering 4 correct. Uh, maybe so we have those situation this is a scenario but still do not fill those answer of those questions till now then you go back to the group B answer group B same way you answer the direct confident questions first and first and then left for those questions you're uh, having a tie between two options but there are some questions you don't know answer in a long distance so just ignore those questions do not try to guess any of those questions if you completely don't know any stuff of that question so just exclude that otherwise you can keep track on the other questions mark those questions so once you do that you go for group c b and a and then uh, you fill all the omr blanks uh, for all the questions you are confident to answer about so now you know that whatever thing you filled in the omr 99 percent of uh, them are correct because you are confident about it so now you need to just brush up uh, through that omr once it will take one to two minutes just to uh, find the number of questions you attempt now 
Once you know the number of questions, you can calculate the marks that you are going to get if all the questions are correct. Now, combining that marks, if it exceeds the qualifying marks, then you don't need to guess at all. Right? Now, how could you know what is the qualifying marks? Now, though the cutoff is varying from time to time, but usually nowadays the cutoff ranges from 55% for GRM. So, you have a target of 120 out of 200 in CSI Regis Select. So, if that is the target, you should, you should ask for it, go for it. That if it exceeds 110, because 55% is the cutoff usually. So, if it is uh, more than 110 uh, by combining the marks or uh, OMR questions, if it is more than 110, then you are sure that yes, uh, I am going to get more than 110, so I don't require to answer any more questions. I don't need to guess at all. But if you think that that is not enough, let's say you are getting 86, even if all the questions are correct. That means you then know, neither way you are going to get GRM. If you don't guess, there is neither way, right? So in those conditions, getting 86 is not helping you, because either you need to cross the line for qualifying, or whatever marks you get, even if you have less than one marks, you won't be considered as qualified. So in those cases, what do you do? Let's say you have 86. In that case, you have to guess. Now this is the time where you should think that whether you will guess or not. So now you think that yes, I have to guess. So if that is the scenario, you have to guess. So in that condition only, you will guess. And which questions? The questions you already marked, the questions you have tied between two options. Take all the questions and just, you know, whichever questions, make your mind option A or B. You have to guess. Now, how to guess a question properly? I will tell you in the later video, other videos, but uh, there is a there is a formula, not actually formula like, but there is a, a way to guess questions more correctly than other things. I mean, it can improve 20 to 25 percent of the times of the guessing power. There is a different thing. But again, use that thing. Uh, you can see that video in my YouTube channel. Probably I put a link here in the description. So once you go at that point, you guess between those two options, you can eliminate one option. Once you eliminate one option, the other one is correct. So you put the answers accordingly for all of them. Because let's say in this case you have 86. You have uh, say 24, uh, 20, more than 24 marks to go. So you take all the questions uh, you are uh, guessing. You put the questions, uh, fill the OMR after that then you come out. But if you think that you have uh, the marks exceeded only, already, don't guess at all, right? This is the way. When to guess is only when your marks is not sufficient. If your marks is sufficient or, or it's slightly above or slightly below, in those cases you have to guess very, very carefully. Then let's say 110 uh, is the marks qualifying and you're getting 106 with that. That means four marks. Or even it may also possible that that, that year or that time the GRF cutoff could be slightly less, so you may get the chance if you don't even guess. So in those cases, uh, you have to guess, th those are the difficult and conditions that you may end up with and then you need to use your uh, very good guessing power and you need to guess. But don't get one, guess one or two, guess multiple questions. If you are guessing questions, guess multiple, okay. Uh, you tie between two, two options and you have six and seven questions, get all answer of the questions. Don't guess. 1, 2. You are, if, even if you are in the borderline, don't try to guess 1 or 2 because it is in the dead, deadline always. Because if in 5 questions, you may end up with 3 right answers. Uh, it's more than 50%. And uh, that might help in those cases. Okay, so that thing you can do there because let's say in 6 questions, you answer correctly 4 after guessing. So 4 correct answers for group C gives you 16. 3 wrong answers, I mean minus uh, 3. Uh, my two wrong answers minus two so 16 minus two you get a complete of 14 as an advantage so this thing uh, you can do so that's how you can minimize the negative marking negative marking is generally due to miss guessing a question or again answering trying to answer all the questions don't do that don't try to answer all the questions only try to answer the questions you are very much confident about first and then you go to the second type that I told you and use this approach to answer the second type of questions. By this way, you can minimize the negative marking, even if you know what questions are going to be correct, what not. And how to build this knowledge for guessing, as well as to know how to answer the questions correctly, to answer more and more questions, uh, prepare 
for more and more question paper discussions uh, in your time. Reading books is not enough. You need to answer a lot of questions to make yourself prepared for the CSI and NET exam. So that's that's it, guys. That's how you can minimize the negative marking, and it will definitely help you to boost your ranking. So that's it. I hope this video helps you. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Subscribe my, to my channel to get more and more videos like that, as well as share this video with your friends because they also need this like you. Thank you.